G'day everybody, I'm Brett Hooker and my channel is I Love Dirt. Today I'm answering a question that few, a few people have been asking about Superpeg's new Outbound Shield 6 freestanding awning. So Superpeg's been producing awnings for years and uh, a lot of us have been using them on our camper trailers. But um, they've just released this new awning which is one of the easy to open ones, one of the freestanding ones that you can just walk it out and uh, it opens very easily. And a few of us have been interested to know if that awning will fit around the kitchen on an, on an outback camper. And in our case, we've got a Drifter Dot 6 camper with the six foot kitchen with the return bench. And that's been the big question that's been asked is that if you open the kitchen all the way out and you put the return on, is it going to fit under the awning? And so this video, I just wanna show you that you can achieve that and exactly how it works with, uh, with dimensions and just how much space there is. If you're enjoying the content we're producing on the I Love Dirt channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the like button to let other people know what we're doing and for you to stay up to date with the content we're producing. So the first thing I want to talk about is the rain protection. So the original awning that I had on this Dot 6 was a, uh, a drifter um, square back awning that was square over the kitchen area. Um, and drifter had designed a gutter to close, enclose the end of the kitchen to make sure that water didn't fall down at the end of the kitchen. And one of the questions I had was whether or not that was still going to work. So here's the first thing. This is the original gutter that Drifter provided for my Drifter square back awning. And it fits on this Velcro on this new Superpeg awning. So the Velcro uh, still attaches no problem at all. And the Drifter gutter still fits to the trailer originally. So absolutely no change to your gutter. If you've got a rain gutter for that end of the trailer, that works perfectly. So the next question that people have asked about is whether or not the awning will actually reach out and cover the return part of one of these drifter pull-out kitchens. So this is a six foot dot. Um, so it's the full length, it's the full length kitchen. Um, has the 37 litre fridge in there and all the drawers and space here. And as you can see that I've got set up, I have the return set up. So the question has been, okay, but if you've got that return set up, does this swing out awning come out far enough? So the first thing I want to say is at the, at the corner of the kitchen, of the corner of the return here, this part of the awning is pretty much right on it. I'd say if anything, maybe, maybe two centimeters of that little bit of the corner comes out to where the awning is. So it's definitely covered by the awning. Um, but then I was curious, it's like, well, if it's about rain protection, then you're going to put the walls on. So this Superpeg awning, its walls are tapered walls. And you can see that we've got them installed here on the kitchen. So the tapered wall gives you extra room. And in fact, there's almost 30 centimeters of space beyond the kitchen out to the wall. So the wall is not draping on the kitchen. And if you had things on top of this table, there's plenty of space. So in terms of the return fitting under the awning, Absolutely works, works no problem at all. Um, also, I'll just mention with the uh, walls, you can get a couple of different types of walls from Superpeg. They just do a plain wall, they do a wall with a window, and then they do a wall with a door. Um, and you can choose combinations of what you'd like. For me, with the way we camp, I've chosen to go for three walls with windows and two walls with doors, and then we can just configure them to be on whichever panel we want, because all the panels are the same length. Now, the other question that people have is, does the awning fit over the back corner of the kitchen? Again, on the return, because it adds, you know, another 50 centimetres to the length of the kitchen, does the awning cover over this back corner of the return? And the answer to that question is, yes, it does as well. The awning does angle back, but it reaches right around. And the very back corner of this kitchen, again, I'd say it's maybe three centimetres out from the, the top of the awning. Now you could always slide the awning back a little bit at the bracket if you wanted to do that. But if you're out in the sun, that little corner is not going to matter. But from a rain perspective, again, you're going to put the walls up. And again, because they're tapered, there's actually, in this case, there's a good 10 to 15 centimetres of space beyond that corner of the return and where the wall is. So again, the short answer is absolutely the new freestanding awning uh, does fit around the Drifter Kitchen with the return set up. So that's, that answers those questions. I'd like to talk a little bit about the awning itself now and why the attraction to one of these freestanding awnings. Now there's quite a few freestanding awnings on the market today, 
but all the ones that we've seen to date, and we've been looking at them and, and watching measurements and things like that, but they don't fit around the kitchen of your camper like the square back awnings did. Um, and we've certainly, there's a number of us in the, in, the, in the groups who have checked these things. This is the first one that I've been able to find. I'm sure there'll be others that come, but this is the first one I've been able to find that gives you that advantage of just being able to walk out with the arms, not having to worry about dropping down legs and pegging things in, etc. that it's free standing by these arms. This is the first one that gives you the room that you need to get around your kitchen. So the advantage of them obviously is really, really easy to set up. You unzip it the same way that you normally do with your awnings, let the canvas roll down, and then you walk out with the awnings and clip them back with a, um, with a cord at the end. So really, really easy to set up, particularly if you're doing it yourself, and really easy for pack up as well, because the same thing, you walk it back around, um, much easier not juggling poles and things like that. Now, an extra feature of this awning from Super Peg is it actually has an arm that swings out towards the front of the trailer as well. And what's nice about that is it just gives us a little extra coverage, a little extra area under shade in this living area of the side of the camper as well. So much easier to set up, much easier to pack up, and a little bit more coverage under shade, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, as with all new things, when you introduce them into your camping kit, there's always fine tuning that needs to happen. So the couple of things that I know I need to fine tune with this setup is that with the extra swing out arm that swings out across the front of the trailer, there's actually an open section near the draw bar where there isn't a wall right now. Now I've had a look and there is some Velcro at the top and there is sail track on the bottom of the awning. So I'm pretty confident that I'll have a chat to the, to the folks at Superpeg and I'll get a wall made up, a custom wall made up that fits onto the Velcro and then slides into that sail track and that'll close off that front corner because knowing my luck, I'll be at a campsite where the, the rain comes in from that direction and that corner down there would end up catching a bit of a weather. So need to do something like that. But I think that particular fine tuning would be quite specific to each person's use. Some people use this awning on a vehicle, they wouldn't need that and camper trailers are different sizes so I think that little gap up the front there would be something you'd, you'd need to look at for yourself but do know that you've got some velcro at the top of the awning and a sail track on the frame as well to work with and the other spot that I've got to have a look at you can probably see over my shoulder but there's a little corner behind the kitchen where there's an opening and again I just need to find a way to close that off. Now again there is velcro at the top so there's absolutely something for me to attach to and the tapered wall has Velcro down that side. So again, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get a custom panel made to drop into that area and just close off that corner so I don't get any weather coming in this side into the kitchen area. So they're the two things that I'll be looking to improve, but other than that, the rest of it looks really good for now. So in conclusion, um, the point of this video was people have been asking questions around whether the new freestanding free awning from Superpeg does reach over and around the pull-out kitchen on a, on a drifter camper trailer with the return attached and the answer to that question is absolutely it does it fits nicely when it's just the awning open and then when you add the walls to protect from rain you've actually got plenty of room under there so two thumbs up on that absolutely works and then the awning itself really will make camping a little bit it'll make setup and pack up easier but actually gives me more shade um, in the living area of the tent as well so so in conclusion it's a fantastic addition to the to the camper um, and I, I would recommend it to, uh, to others to look at to see if it'll suit your application. Cheers everyone.